As the final days of September wind down, that means it is harvest time in our state. And WHO 13's Roger Riley visited the Jackson Farm near Oskaloosa, and Roger joins us now live. Hi, Aaron. You know, uh, I've been some places in Iowa where there are vast fields that have been harvested, mainly up north, but here in southeast Iowa, the corn harvest is just getting underway. Yeah, this is our second day of harvesting corn. Beans are not quite ready yet, but uh, we've been struggling a little bit all, you know, with the moisture all. We're about 10 inches below moisture on the average for the year, but uh, corn harvest right now is, is uh, what I'd say a little bit above average. Uh, Mark Jackson farms with his son Michael, now a sixth generation family farm. Today, Jackson, along with a neighbor, were combining corn. Now, yield on one field is around 240 bushels to the acre. Uh, even in a dry year, Jackson cut today's harvest a little shorter than planned. The corn was just a little too wet. Farmers often have to dry grain down to 15% moisture, and this year, fuel to dry the corn has gone up. Uh, yeah, I think fuel LP prices have gone up a dollar. I mean, we're two and a half dollars a, a gallon for LP, which is the main factor for farmers to use to dry. Uh, we like to let Mother Nature dry down as much as we can, but uh, we also have to look at the calendar and realize winter is coming and you don't want to be caught in the snow nor the, nor the rain. But now I'm here on their farm back there. They have unloaded some of the grain already, but they've, uh, you know, they may have to dry some of that grain down. It was testing about 20% moisture and uh, they need to have it down to 15%. So why not let the sun and the wind dry it a little bit for free so they don't have to pay for that expensive gas to dry down their crop. Yeah. That's the situation here in Mahaska County here. Mother Nature is doing it right now. All right. Yep. Thanks, Roger. Yep.